Good evening and welcome to the T2 Challenge Season 2. I am Mark Thompson along with the High Performance Director. Working on Ted Lee at California Table Tennis. Ought to be a good matchup today here, Sean. Oh, the match is already underway. The players are ready to go and Udaya with a very quick start. Very aggressive serves by Udaya. Ted Lee, one of our top up-and-coming youth players. This should be a great matchup. Udaya playing for Team Alpha, who has already clinched the victory here in Season 2 of the T2 Challenge. They, Team Alpha, the members of that team, will be at the finals at Westchester in the not-too-distant future. And Ted Lee playing for Team Omega. Has uh, no opportunity to get his team back into that, but I know he's playing for individual pride and to improve his game as well. He's got the serve and the lead at 2-1. And although as coaches we say don't focus on it, he is playing for rating points. Both players will improve their national rankings and seedings like all players in the T2 Season 2. Yeah, these are two highly ranked players and rated players. 25-42 for Udaya Ranasinga. He's got the serve in the 2-2 tie in Game 1. And now the lead back to Ted Lee who is a 25-31 USATT rated player, just 16 years of age out of San Diego. Plays at the learning tree down there, Sean. It's turned out a lot of great players. Yeah, the Stellan Bankson and his wife Angie have done a tremendous job both at the Par Paralympic level and on the able body side working with a number of players. Earl James Alt. Some tremendous talent. 3 3 here in game one of T2 Challenge, season two, the 16th of 16 regional matchups. Ted with a really nice backhand opening there. Udaya really likes to move the ball around. He doesn't have pure power on both sides like we've seen in some of the other matches, especially last week when we saw um, Kai Jung play against Sean Jing. But I mean, both these players really like to move it around, good positioning. And then when the possibility creates itself, they'll go for the winner. Nice deep serve there by Udaya. And draws back with him one. And the serve again. We'll see if he goes back to that serve. That's a difficult one to handle. Mm -hmm. Ted got a little bit of a break there off the top of the net. And Udaya lunged at it and hit it wide. Yeah, both these players being so tall, you know their short games are going to be good, especially on the server turn. Oh, nice forehand that time by Udaya. Unable to handle it was Ted. And now drawing with one again is Udaya. 5-6, six, six, serve still to Ted Lee was the 2019 U.S. Nationals Cadet Boys Champion. Nice title to hold. Oh, nice break that Ted got. But again, it was off of a very strong, quick backhand off the bounce, and then a follow-up playing very smart and aggressive. Udaya... Ronasinga, who's out of El Monte, California. We are in Southern California, back at California Table Tennis. I want to thank Gao June for hosting this event here. Ted opening up the three-point lead here in game one, playing T2 rules, 24-minute clock. Any game started after the conclusion of the 24-minute clock is a fast five. It's an unforced error off the serve that time by Udaya and now finds himself down by four here in game one. Ted going for another third ball attack. Little jam there. He's got to give himself a little bit more space to get that forehand in. Tall players tend to have bigger middles. and You'll see both players going after that middle section to knock the opponent off balance. Oh, 
Oh, that's a nice controlled backhand loop down the line by Uday, and nothing fancy, just took his time, made sure that Ted didn't know where he was going, and then just at the last moment took it down the line for the strong play. Yeah, and that was really down the line, right on the white paint. Now, Ted's got to be careful right here. He's had quite a sizable lead here in game one, but Udaya has clawed his way back, and he only trails by one, but he's got the serve. So three consecutive points here to draw within one. Oh, a couple of good shots that time, but the one by Ted goes long, and now we're at 9-9. Nine, nine. Udaya hanging tough on that big point that time, Sean, with a couple of really nice forehands. Yeah, and Ted tried to take that final shot down the line. There just wasn't any angle to make a counter loop on a ball that had a little bit of side spin. He just went off the end. Four straight points for Udaya Ranasinga. And there's Ted reaching out over the table. Like you say, he's a tall and lanky <laughs> kid. He was able to reach and slam that one and gets the game point here in game one. Oh, Ted goes for a little bit too much and just catches the edge of his paddle and that ball goes long. So we are now in a 10-10 sudden death one point for the first game of this match. Yeah, no deuce in T2 rules. New Dia with the serve. And it's Udaya who wins that critical 11 point. As into the net goes Ted Lee, an 11-10 victory here for Udaya Ranasinga. And he's able to get this net ball back and place it, not just put it on the table, but place it and really take the legs out from Ted Lee, who tried to step around, but just really couldn't get much position off this final ball to the backhand side. He did a good job, Udaya, off that net ball, kind of recovering and getting it back on the table, winning the point and uh, taking a one nothing lead here. He did so, Sean. And having the opportunity to really close that game one out, didn't do it. Udaya did a good job of battling back to win the first game of this match. And, and Udaya made some very strong plays with that backhand loop down the line. Just really took his time and showed his experience, not panicking when he was trailing, but just kind of took it one point at a time, forced Ted Lee to come up with the goods. You know, Sean, this is the 16th and final regional matchup that we have in T2 Challenge Season 2. We do want to thank all of the clubs that have been involved in this season of T2 Challenge, including California Table Tennis, where we are today. But Houston International Table Tennis, Spin and Smash in Columbus, Triangle Badminton Table Tennis in Morrisville, North Carolina, Westchester. Of course, we love the people in Westchester at Westchester Table Tennis Center in Pleasantville, New York, ICC in Milpitas. And as noted, we are down here in Southern California right now, Rosemead, California Table Tennis. Serve that time by Ted Lee. Evens things up at one apiece. Serve comes back across to Adaya. Oh, and Udaya going for a little bit too much there on the back, and that ball popped up. He not only wanted to put it away, he wanted to show a little bit of authority and just goes long. Pendulum serve. Oh, good point that time, but the backhand by Udaya goes long. Ted Lee with the point and the lead at 3-2. Ted Lee's got a very interesting short serve that he'll use periodically, Sean, that really does draw his opponent deep into the table 
and he makes that serve. I really love Ted's ability to just force his forehand into the point. As a taller player, he just has to make sure he's always moving. Now with a two-point lead after that backhand from Udaya goes into the net. Here in game two, Udaya run a single leading one game to none after the come from behind 11 to 10 victory in that first game. And Mark, we mentioned earlier about the, the team event has been spoken for because right now Team Alpha is going to win. But the person who wins various individual matches, they get points that will also help their seeding in the finals of the T2 Challenge Season 2 in Westchester. So it looks like Udaya will be eligible to play with Team Alpha, but winning this match would actually help him go for the big money because he could get possibly more points points going into the seedings. He draws with the Oh, that ball somehow took a little bit of a weird bounce, but it definitely landed strong. Surprised Ted. Ace forehand, third ball attack. Excellent play. Oh, and again, a very nice off-the-bounce backhand counterattack by Udaya. Again, finding out to Ted's mid and wide forehand to be the place to go as Ted tries to step around his backhand and get his forehand into play. That didn't look like it quite caught the edge, but it was pretty darn close. It was right on the white paint. Difficult ball for Ted to handle. And now he finds himself in a 6-6 tie here in game two. Oh, what oh. a beautiful shot by Udaya, able not only to play a solid forehand cross court, but to take that ball almost inside out to the open court on the backhand side, well constructed. Great punch and counter punch exchange. Over the table, very nice forehand flip, Ted unable to keep the ball down on the table. Udaya with his largest lead of this second game. Now to 9-6. At one point in this game, he was down 6-2. Has battled back now to lead 9-6. And again, that strong backhand off the bounce by Udaya, it's really handcuffing Ted, really taking his forehand out of the points by being able to take it so quickly off the bounce and jam it into his backhand. And with game point is Udaya Ranasinga after winning eight consecutive here, trying to close out game two. Not that time. Ted stops the streak and tries to get back on track here. Down 7-10 in game two, down one game to none. Ted also showing he's got some comeback ability by staying with it here. Doing a good job on his serve. Daya trying to regroup here with the serve. And once again, game point. And he captures it on the third attempt. The 11-8 victory for Daya Ranasinga. Leads two games to none. Beautiful forehand loop there to close it out, Sean. Super third ball attack. Nice tight serve. Step around. 
found, found the wide forehand. Ted Lee tries to re-loop it, but that ball just trails away out to the wide forehand. Ted and it to really get into position and Udaya with a very sizable 2-0 lead. Yeah, and that was in come from behind fashion as it was in game one as well. He was down 6-2 at one point in that game two. Udaya Ranasinga ran off eight consecutive points before Ted Lee was able to stop that streak and win a couple of points of his own. But on the third attempt on game point, it is Udaya Ranasinga out of El Monte, California, who takes the two games to none lead for Team Alpha. As we've noted on a couple of occasions, Team Alpha coming into this match leads 14 to 8 in the regional team points. They will be going, Team Alpha that is, to the T2 Challenge Season 2 Finals. A lot of big names on that Team Alpha, Sean, that we look forward to seeing, including the 50-year-old Jimmy Butler. The, the full team of Alpha players that have earned their right to play in the finals, and now they have to play head-to-head -head against each other. Plus, we'll be adding some of our Team Tokyo players as wild cards in the main draw, so it should be quite exciting. Yeah, some big names in that Team Alpha, including Sharon Alguetti, who ended up winning the national team trials in Fort Worth recently. Congratulations to him. Sharon had a real good run down in texas seemed very comfortable down there actually so right now udaya keeping the momentum going here in game three really put together a nice finishing set of points there at the end of game two but ted lee give him some credit he's stepping around he's getting his forehand he's not going to go away quietly hey lest you forget ted lee just 16 years of age so this is a young man who's on the rise to be sure And once oh. again, wow, Udaya, just such quick hands. What great timing right off the bounce. Credit Ted for putting some offensive pressure on Udaya, but Udaya, no problem just redirecting that power for the point. Oh, and Ted missing the side, drop that time, and down now 4-1 here in game three, down two games to none. And Udaya with the serve and up by three points. A bad break there for Ted as they'll go to the towel break. He's down 5 1 in game three, down two games to none. A couple of come from behind victories for Udaya Ranasinga in games one and two. But right now, he's not uh, in need of coming from behind. It's Ted Lee who's got to kind of dig it out of the hole here. Again, Udaya is doing a really nice job of mixing it up, some short, some long. Ted looked like he might have been ready to step in for one more ball, but Udaya's ball went right towards the back line. And Ted snaps the string of points there for Udaya. Down 6-2, and Udaya with the serve. Keep an eye on the T2 clock now at 5:22. Nice job there by Ted to get his forehand in off of Udaya's serve. Daya actually had a little bit of a swing there. He could have put that counterattack on, but went into the net. That was a good forehand by Udaya to the backhand side, kind of stepped around it just a bit to, I think maybe, uh, I don't want to say fool uh, Ted, but make it difficult for him on the backhand return. Oh, great point. Ted Lee, beautiful backhand punch down the line to win that one. I mean, that's just world class. I mean, Ted stuck with it, kept the attacks coming back. Then at the last second, just took the backhand off the bounce. No one at home just really delivered a full knockout shot there. Another great point, but the shot by 
Udaya goes long and drawing within two is Ted Lee, who hangs tough on back-to-back points against Udaya, despite being down 7-3, wins two consecutively, Sean, in rather dramatic fashion. Ted Lee really stepping it up. I love that backhand down the line. That was so amazing. And once again, Udaya really moving the serve around, just always kind of hitting that transition point. We've seen Ted Lee have two or three real troubles with just getting that kind of the racket in position to return the ball. And then you can see the frustration there as it shows up on the next serve by missing the serve in the net, thinking about the next shot versus just putting the ball into play in a good location. Good point there, Sean. Just lost focus. <laughs> And loses game three as well. 11-5, Udaya Ranasinga up now three games to none. You can tell Ted after a couple of really good points kind of faltered down the stretch just a bit there and was unable to find the table with that backhand and loses 11-5 game three. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a good shot to do the backhand off the bounce since you just can't go for like three pointers on every shot. I mean, that, that's a nice play, but got to set it up. And Udaya has done a masterful job of moving the ball around, never giving Ted a chance to get his feet set underneath him. We saw at the end of the first game, as Ted tried to take a big loop down the line, was a little bit off balance. And then on the serve and serve return, Uday is continuing to put the ball so that, Ed, that Ted really needs an extra half a step to be fully loaded to take that ball anywhere he wants. You know, Sean, the 2-2 challenge season two, really a great opportunity for a player like Udaya. Rana Singa, he's just 22 years of age. As known, he's out of El Monte, California, but he's on Team Alpha. He's in command of this match, but his team has already clinched the opportunity to go to the finals at Westchester Table Tennis Center in Pleasantville, New York. It's an opportunity for this young man to go and play against some great players in the finals of the T2 Challenge and get uh, perhaps some very important experience for his career under his belt in a really a, a great event put on by T2 and USATT. Yeah, I really agree with that. And not just here in Los Angeles, but all across the country to have this season be open to all the top players. They played in regional tournaments to earn the right to be on Team Alpha or Team Omega. And it's just been a real pleasure to watch the best players in the country go toe to toe. All right, first point of game four goes to Ted Lee. Trying to mount a comeback here against Udaya Ranasinga. And once again, Mark, that one-two combination by Udaya, just beautiful backhand opening and then turns the corner and lands that strong forehand down the line. It evens things up at one here, up three games to none. Oh, another brilliant shot. There's that backhand down the line, Sean, right on the tape. Uday is really showing a lot of firepower from both sides. A lot of control and touch on the serve and serve return as well. Bouncing back here is Ted Lee. I'm going to get to the fast five here. Sean looks like he could if he is able to win game four. As we're down to 24 seconds remaining now in the 24 minute clock. And I think Mark, that is a great strategy. If you can, if you're trailing three, one and you can jump into the fast five, you only have to win five points per game. So let's see if Ted's able to pull this off and go into a fast five. Not if we're dying keeps hitting him like that right there. That was a gun right on the tape again, down the forehand side. And, Ted, who was placed his body, his body is more towards the backhand side, had no chance on that one whatsoever. Now, Udaya really isn't playing that many balls in the center of the table, but really to the wings. Ted gets a little break there. Couldn't have come at a better time. He brings him within one now, down 4-3 here in game four. And the 24-minute clock obviously is run now. Oh, a little bit of an overshoot right there by Udaya. 
You know, that ball bounced up a little high in the short portion of the table. I thought he was just going to be able to reach out and slam it. Just missed. Oh, beautiful shot that time by Odaya. First to the backhand, and Sean went right into the body on Ted. <laughs> just really controlling every angle. Now opening up a two-point lead is Udaya Ranasinga. And get a bit of a break here. I think that Ted's going to take the time out here, Sean. It's probably not a bad idea. You're down three games to none, and you're down two points in game four. There's no reason not to try to slow the pace and turn it back in your direction. That's exactly right. Anything that he can do to just slow Udaya down. I mean, Udaya is playing his backhand down the line. He's going the wide cross court. He's playing the balls into Ted's body. I mean, Ted needs to regroup and really just kind of ice Udaya a little bit because he's been on fire. He has that. He's, of course, a member of Team Alpha. That will give him the opportunity, merely being on that team, the opportunity to play in the T2 Challenge Season 2 Finals at Westchester upcoming in the not-too-distant future. Team Alpha has already clinched the team victory. Those 16 participants for that team, 16 members of that team, are automatically in the finals at Westchester. Ted picks up the first point out of the timeout there to draw within one. It's always a good feeling after you take a timeout to get that very next point and try to get some momentum on your side. Ooh, nice backhand there by Ted right off the bounce. Caught Udaya in the backhand corner. Now he's got a string of two. That's how you develop some momentum right there is a <laughs> shot like that. Beautifully placed as well, Sean. There was no chance for Udaya to get to that ball. Wow, that mm. serve went a little bit long. Udaya jumped on it, and then Ted said, I'll do you one better, and <laughs> delivered a nice counterattack on the forehand side. And that was punch and counterpunch <laughs> right there. Get yourself up off the mat. Another point for Ted Lee, who's now won four in a row here to go uh, from what was a 6-4 deficit, Sean, to an 8-6 lead in game four. And those are really nice opening shots that he's using just to take Udaya out of that forehand ripper that we've seen him do. But now, again, once I say that, mm -hmm. things change, and Udaya now has stopped the bleeding. Broadcaster's jinx. Works every time. Oh, great return that time by Udaya. Looked like Ted had him on the ropes. He got it back on the table, and Ted made an unfortunate error into the net, and we're back tied at eight. Good combination there by Ted, staying focused. If he can win this game and get into a fast five, anything can happen. Oh, but that time a little bit of weird spin on the ball. Somehow Udaya was able to return that ball with a little bit of side spin and it really caught Ted kind of flat footed there without really any place to go with it. And we are tied at nine apiece. It's a good way to describe it. Look, he was almost off balance when he hit that ball. I think maybe a little bit of an overrun, possibly. Oh, great point for both players. But into the net goes Ted Lee, and it's Udaya Ranasinga who ends up with the point and what would be match point as well at 10-9 up 3-0 here in game four. And he converts. It is Udaya Ranasinga of Team Alpha 
who takes the 16th of 16 regional matchups that we have in the T2 Challenge in Season 2. A, a good battle for both players, Sean, but Udaya just proved to be too much for young Ted Lee. Just controlled the serve and server turn a little bit, and we saw some great power both on the backhand and forehand side by Udaya. Well, that is the 16th of 16 regional matchups. As you can see, Team Alpha pretty much dominated down the stretch. 16-8 victory in Season 2 of the T2 Challenge. The 16 players and members of Team Alpha are going to get an opportunity to play in the T2 Season 2 Challenge Finals. Those 16 players include Jimmy Butler, Shaheen Aklapasan, Hui Jing Wang, Chance Friend, Jishan Liang, Sharon Alguedi, Michelle Levinsky, Lee Jian, Koku Fanny, Mo Masao Kahatsu, Angie Tan, Dan Liu, Dian Ren Wei, Boiling Liu, Kai Zhang, and as we just saw, Udaya Ranasinga. And congratulations to all 16 of them, Sean. They got an opportunity to win some money in Westchester upcoming in the not too distant future. Well, they, they pulled together as a team and they got it done. Now they get to fight against each other for bragging rights and a lot of cash in Westchester. Yeah, we saw a lot of great matches over the course of the year. And of course, we're going to throw in some wild cards in those finals as well, which may include some Olympians and national team members. Should be a very exciting event at Westchester Table Tennis Center. Absolutely. And a chance for our Tokyo bound players to get some much needed international play with some of these top players throughout the country should be a great event. All right, the regionals are in the books. For Sean O'Neill, the High Performance Director at USA Table Tennis, I am Mark Thompson. Have a great day, everybody.